Well, moving back east to the southern U.S. now, damaging winds, large hail and tornadoes are all possible as the threat of severe weather increases over a large swath of the southern plains and Mississippi River Valley tonight and into tomorrow. Joining us now is field meteorologist Brett Adair from Delhi, Louisiana, who is currently traveling to position himself in areas expected to see the worst of this powerful system. Brett, thank you so much for being with us on Fox Weather. Glad to be speaking with you again. What's your game plan heading into the next several hours? Well, Kendall, we're going to move toward the west. We're going to set up primarily near the Shreveport, Louisiana area tonight, just to be far enough west in case things pop off earlier in the day tomorrow. But we're expecting to move back along the Interstate 20 corridor to the east. Here in Delhi, what we have noticed is today is what we call kind of a primer day. It is 85 degrees here in the area with dew points around 65. So we're definitely moistening up already in preparation of this storm system that's going to eject out of the southern plain states and the southwest and move into the lower Mississippi Valley tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Of tomorrow morning, where are you expecting to kind of begin the day? And then obviously you'll be chasing throughout the remainder of the day on into, you know, uh, Saturday if you have to. Where, where do you think that the worst of the weather will be when you wake up tomorrow? Well, you know, I think we've got a little bit of a window maybe early on where we're going to see some thunderstorms probably across portions of North Texas, southeast Oklahoma, maybe northwestern Arkansas, closer to that front that's going to slow down. But where our focus is going to really pick up is going to be portions of the Mississippi River Delta, which is northern Louisiana, eastern Arkansas, western Mississippi, maybe even southwestern Tennessee, where we could see some of those individual thunderstorms that can develop in this ripe environment. We're going to have moisture already in place and more streaming in with cold air aloft moving over top. We're likely to see some of those severe supercell type thunderstorms develop later into the afternoon hours with wind shear that's in place. Then we've got to watch out for tornadoes, some of which could be strong and long tracked across the area. And yeah, they really could be. And that's why folks really need to stay weather ready. So, Brett, you are no stranger to the South. You're from the South. You know this part of the country very well. In terms of chasing in the Southeast, it's quite a bit different than chasing, let's say, out in the Plains. Talk to us about what that's like and some of the challenges that you face. Well, I've been here for over 20 years across this portion of the country, which has allowed me to learn a lot about the road network because, as you mentioned, we have obstacles in the way. We deal with a lot of forestation across this area, which doesn't give us a great vantage point in many cases. So we have a map where we have a lot of uh, pinpointed locations marked off. You know, if we see storms moving in that direction, we can check our map and we can, you know, maybe move into those spots so we can get a view. But not only that, we're going to be dealing, I think, with the heart of the threat going into tomorrow night. So that is a whole other animal in itself going into nightfall with the potential for strong, maybe even long track tornadoes raking across the region. Then you have to then think about, you know, areas where there's populace, where there is uh, lighting, maybe some light pollution, where you can get a vantage point of the cloud structure, the cloud deck. And unfortunately, we have to watch for power flashes at that point, which means the tornadoes likely do a damage. But those power flashes give us that visual clue as to if we have anything on the ground. So as you mentioned, most definitely the Deep South is much, much different than the Plains. One thing I can say, portions of the area under the most enhanced risk tomorrow are a little bit flatter. They're along the Mississippi River itself. There are some flat areas in the Delta that do allow for a vantage point without so many trees. So, you know, that's one thing that we can say. And a lot of larger population centers are not in the center of the bullseye yet. However, Jackson, Memphis, Little Rock, Shreveport, Monroe, you're all under the gun and you need to be taking this threat very, very seriously. Yeah, you do. This is a very serious situation, especially as we are just at the very beginning of our spring severe weather season and the work that you and every other storm chaser does to provide us that vital ground truth. It's just invaluable. We really need that. So thank you so much for all of your hard work. We'll be thinking of you over the next several hours. Field meteorologist Brett Adair, we appreciate you coming on the show this afternoon. Thanks, Kim. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.